This phrase, human flourishing, I think is tremendously valuable, but we need to infuse it with Christian content or else we're just going to borrow the assumptions of the world around us about what flourishing really is. And for us as Christians, the measure of human flourishing is the incomparable human life of Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> Jesus is our picture of what a flourishing life is. And not just our picture of what flourishing is for an individual, but actually the, the most striking thing about Jesus's life is that he brought flourishing everywhere he went, that other people around him were transformed by encounter with him. So we learn a bunch of things from Jesus's life. I mean, we learn some things that flourishing is not. To be, uh, to be flourishing, you do not have to be affluent. <laughs> to be flourishing, you don't even have to own a home. Um, to be flourishing, you do not have to have a long life. Jesus uh, was uh, crucified probably at age 33. Um, to be flourishing, you do not have to always be popular, uh, always be well thought of. Um, but to be flourishing is something deeper than that in the life of Jesus. It involves a kind of profound truthfulness to uh, God and to other people. And it leads to healing for other people and to the uh, driving out of the demonic. So a flourishing life ultimately, I mean, this is a very high bar, <laughs> but that's what we're in this for, right? To, to find out what is it really about? And when you look at the life of Jesus, you see a life that was consistently truthful, that was consistently attending to whatever person was in front of him, whether that person was powerful or evidently powerless, and that brought flourishing in the lives of other people. It was a life that multiplied itself in more and more life and that gave itself away uh, in profoundly sacrificial ways. So if we want a picture of human flourishing, it's Jesus's life that we need to look at.